Hey guys, how you doing? Okay, so this is Mo Clef here again, and um, I'm uh, I'm sorry for not posting for a while. I've been kind of busy, so um, but I'm back here again. All right, so uh, I'm glad to announce to you that um, I'm going to be taking you all on a journey, on a diatonic series journey, and that's going to be called the diatonic series with Mo Clef. So this video is going to be the first diatonic series with Mo Clef. So number one, this is the first diatonic series with Mo Clef. Uh, this is just about same details with the previous video I posted. So if you have that video, well, it's about the same thing, right? So you can take off that one and have this one, all right? Just that I'm going to try as much as possible to be more detailed with this, all right? So now, um, remember, like I said earlier, I'm going to be teaching on the key of D major, D major on the alto saxophone, which is F sa F concert, yeah, F concert. All right. So um, we all know the D major scale, right? Which is D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and then D, blah 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 blah, all the way up to wherever you can get to. All right. So now, um, remember I talked about articulation, and like I said before, if you know you don't know about articulation and tonguing, please you can pause this video, go learn about it, then you come back and watch this video, because everything I'm going to do will have articulation in it. I can't teach without articulation. It's like talking without, I don't know, like you don't have teeth or something. Uh, anyway, um, that's not what I'm here to talk about. So, um, going right straight to the point or uh, to the order of the day, your diatonic scale series, your first diatonic scale series with Moclef. Now, I'm going to play that fast at, uh, at a fast tempo, at a medium tempo, and at a slow tempo, and a very slow tempo. Alright? So, after doing that, I'm going to break it down try as much as possible to break it down so come along with me I'm going to be a little bit fast so that you know I don't get to waste our time all right so um come with me let me play it fast <laughs> All right, but uh, I need to take that slow, slower than what I just did. So let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to break that down. 
and try as much as possible to be detailed right so now we know the, the um, scale of D major I already said that before D E F sharp G A B C sharp D and all the way up right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to break that into pieces for you so this is what's going to happen we're going to group the exercise into twos so for each one I'm going to tell you they're going to be grouped into twos into twos 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 now take note for each of the grouping of twos you have to articulate on the last note of each grouping now I'm going to take that again for each of this grouping you have to tongue on the last note and we are grouping them into twos now I'm going to try as much as possible to break this down so please try and listen you can play the video over and over again all right to get this because I'm going to be a bit fast so now let's go we're going to um, work on the ascending and then work on the descending all right so come with me so now for the first two groups or for the first two groupings we have D and F sharp let me go that again D and F sharp which is do me D and F sharp and don't forget you're going to tongue on the last note of each grouping when you're going up right when you're ascending you tongue on the last note and when you're descending I think I forgot to say about that when you're descending you tongue on the first note yeah while descending you tongue on the first note so while coming down the scale you tongue on the first note coming down the exercise while going up which is ascending tongue on the last note now let's go over it so uh, we have D and F sharp which is do me which means you're tonguing on F sharp for the next grouping we have E and G and then you're tonguing on what G which is re fa tonguing on the re fa fa G yeah so now for the next we have F sharp and A F sharp and A you're tonguing on A which is the so right for the next grouping we have G and B. You're tonguing on B. You're tonguing on B, which is La, right? So now we we'll go to the next, which is um, A and C sharp. A and C sharp. You're tonguing on C sharp, right? Now for the next grouping, we have B and D. Yeah, B and D. D with your octave key because we're going to the next octave, right? So now B and D, and you're tonguing on D, right? Now for the next, it is C sharp and E, E with your octave key, right? Which is um, above the one you played before. So like I said before, the next grouping is what F, sh oh, sorry, C sharp and E, and you're tonguing on E, which is Re, T, Re, C sharp. And E. Now for the next, we have uh, D and E again, just the octave of what you played before, or where you started from, right? D and E, just that you're doing that with your octave key on. That's it, D and E, and then you tongue on what? The E. You go again, the next, E and G. You tongue on what? G, which is Re, Fa, and then Fa. The next is what? F sharp and A. F sharp and A, which is me. So you tongue on what? A. For the next is G and B. You tongue on B, which is fa la. Tonguing on B la. For the next A and C sharp. A and C sharp, and you tongue in on what? C sharp and A and C sharp is so T. Right, so you tongue on T, which is C sharp. For the next, B and D. B and D. You tongue in on D. B and D is what? Ah, do. Get. So for the next, we have C sharp and E again. And you're tongue in on E, which is T, Re. You get that? And for the last one, 
by ascending we have D and F sharp and then you tongue on F sharp right so now if I play that really slow for you right we get this D and F sharp which then the next is what E and G you see how I'm tonguing on the last note of each of the grouping now for the next we have F sharp and A for the next we have what G and B for the next we have A and C sharp make sure you don't forget to tongue on the last note you see how I'm tonguing on the last note of each grouping now for the next we have B and D and you tongue on D for the next we have C sharp and E you tongue on E for the next one we have D and F sharp which is the octave right D and F sharp and then you tongue on F sharp it goes for the next we do E and G again and then tongue in on the G next is E sorry next is F sharp and A and you tongue on A the next is G and B, your tongue on B. The next is A and C sharp, your tongue on C sharp. The next is B and D, your tongue on D. Next is C sharp and E, your tongue on what? E. Next is D and F sharp, and then you tongue on F sharp. <laughs> Guess what? You just take that same scale, and then you know you descend with it. But the only thing is, this time you have to tongue on the first note, right? So now you go F sharp. For the descending goes F sharp and D, and then you tongue on F sharp. Good. Take that again. Next, while going down, you have E and C sharp. You know you're going down now, so it becomes D flat, right? So E and C sharp or D flat, however way you know it. So and then you tongue on E. Next is what D. And B because you're going down. So D B you tongue on D. Next is D flat, which is, which is also your C sharp, and then A. So if I call it um, C sharp and A going down. Next is what B and G, and then you tongue on B. Next is A and F sharp, which is your G flat, because you're going down. Good. Remember, you're tonguing on A, A, G flat, or F sharp. It goes, you tongue on A. Next is your G and E. You tongue on G. Next is um. F sharp and D, which is also G sharp and D, because you're coming down the scale. Don't forget to tongue on the F sharp, F sharp or G flat, right? Then the next is what? E and C sharp, which is also D flat, because you're going down, and then you tongue on E. 
Next, D and B. You turn on D. Next, C sharp or D flat. And A, you turn on C sharp or D flat. Next is B and D. You turn on B. Sorry, B and G. B and G. You turn on B. Next is A. Yeah, A and F sharp, which is also your G flat. You know, you're going down. And then you have to turn on A. Next is what? Your G and your E. And then you turn on the G. That's the first note of this exercise. Again. Again. And the last but not the least is uh, what? F sharp and D, which is also your G flat because you're coming down the scale. And D. So whichever way, F sharp and G or G F sharp and D or G flat and D. Talking about the same note here. And then you turn on F sharp or G flat. Same thing. Again. So that's just about it for the exercise. That's just it. Right? about it for the first series of your diatonic scale or your first diatonic series with Moclef. Um, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to hit the like button and um, please comment on this video I'd love to see your comments so I know what to do so I know how to improve on the video the next time and um, don't forget to share this don't forget to share the video so see you next time bye